the dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the emperor of Lucha Libre. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Every move Escobar makes honors his family and the tradition of Lucha Libre. Yeah, you've got to watch your step around Santos Escobar because he can drop you in a second. Well, there's an understatement. Escobar's already doled out so much punishment to anyone opposing Legato. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. Here comes a man with a vision. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. A former United States champion won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. Time for Cruz to execute on his vision. Well, I just hope he can do that without bleeding from his eyes. Apollo Crews, gentlemen, is a superstar who's done waiting in line and is ready to chase after any goal he sets his sights on. Yeah, Crews isn't going to let friendships and playing Mr. Nice Guy in the locker room get in his way anymore. Apollo has a rich legacy to carry forward, and he'll go through anyone to do it. In some ways, you have to respect his determination. Makes Crews a very dangerous man. And facing him is Santos Escobar, one of the more controversial superstars today. Escobar is obsessed with the legacy of Lucha Libre but wants to create one on his own terms. No mask, all results. Escobar's creating a new, modern tradition, one win at a time. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't need to wear a mask to properly honor his ancestors. Yeah. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist! Forearm to the kidneys! Oh, Back first. Dear, this doesn't look good. Alley -oop. Ooh. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. Ah, oh, just a deadlift. Deadlift back suplex. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Apollo Crews a little out of his element here. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Check your face out for that one. Does he have him here? Quick count out after one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Uh-oh. And Apollo Crews reverses it. Big boot. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Down with the Samoan drop. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Things have been fraught between these competitors for weeks. We have to notice how tensions have risen even more recently. Nothing seems to be off limits at this point, and that's not a good thing. Springboard 
misses the target. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Worried look on the face of Escobar. He's weathered Escobar's hybrid offense and has not let his guard down whatsoever. Suplex! Apollo looking to take to the sky. Cross splash! Apollo Cruz! Let that powerful attack be a lesson to anyone who thinks about getting in a pump. From behind! Yeah, the assault is now underway. Oh oh they my call gosh. it a steel cage and come down and surround the ring. Oh. There is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. These two may destroy each other. Oh, and a low blow. Inside the lawless environment of a steel cage.